Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and the Thieves Guild Trinity Restore Quest. Let's just crack on. So we go have a little chat with um, Carlia and Brynjolf. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new Guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, but I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill me. <sighs> he betrayed the Guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. I'm preparing to leave for the standing stone. What is it? Yeah, nothing. Okay, so, uh, let's go and get ready. We're going to have to basically join the Nightingales. We should get some pretty cool armour, so why not? Go on, guys. Go on, chop chop. Okay, I haven't been there for ages, so I better uh, check up exactly where it is. And I've got a fair idea. It's okay, yeah. So if we go from uh, Show Shad Farm or Show Shod Farm, Snow Shod Farm, <laughs> whatever, and we'll walk from there. Yeah, it's not a particularly long journey, to be fair. I don't know if I go that way or do I go around the hill? Okay, go around the hill, I think. Yeah, that way. Oh, nom nom. Oh, more nommings. I don't do much on um, uh, when I'm recording these videos but uh, when I'm actually just playing the game in the background without record I'm always stopping for ages pick up every single ingredient I stacked up quite a bit I'm glad you're here what's yes. the significance of this place the headquarters of the nightingales cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. From the oh, moment I struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive. But together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild. And it seems they've spoken. It's my hope Am I to become a nice girl? This way, please. Yeah, she's kind of duping us into this, actually. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong with me? Well, it's a bit crappy, really, isn't it? For a divine's kind of uh, 
guardians, you'd expect them to sort of live in a slightly better place than this. Come on, chop chop. He's just ahead. Please, keep following. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Here we go. Decent armour at last. Okay, let's get stuff on. Let's have a quick look. Where are you? Yeah, I'm still weak with the armour, to be honest here. Kind of quite cool looking arm actually to be fair. Yeah, let's do the whole thing. It smells stuffy and sneaky here. <laughs> I love Inigo. Okay, lass, we've got these get ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step. Well, then, lass, I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own. An arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means well, to be fair, there's a lot to lose. It's your eternal. Yeah, you can be guarding something for eternity. Are you ready to turn <laughs> out the oath with nocturnal? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Okay, I'm uh, narrating this uh, after the fact. Um, this is a really, really glitchy quest and what happened is Kalias walked away um, uh, from from the gate and she kind of disappears so I tried all sorts of things leaving and coming back and whatever inappropriate moments? but no, the only way either. it worked was okay, well, using sometimes. console commands um, and the command I actually got used to actually get it to work was set stage space and it's TG08A57. Now what that did, it completed the quest without actually going and sitting on the... Um, or standing on the circles and doing the whole nocturnal bit. Okay, so officially the game's... that quest has been completed now, so all I've got to do now is talk to Carlyle. The oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our love to run dry. So the key unlocks any door. Yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. Sounds like no one should possess it. 
Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time we ever set out to return something. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before Let's go. We depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Okay, yeah, that's still undone. It doesn't matter. Listen, really lass, annoying, but I couldn't one uh, last piece do anything about it. To settle before we go after Mercer, the leadership of the guild. Carlia and I Why tell this to me? Discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, we have oh, a I don't know what to say. To before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. So let's get to it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. Okay, right. Right, so this will be the first time we come up against um, uh, Falma in, in this, with this build. So that's going to be quite a tough and a big ask for uh, Tyren because she's not really at full strength at the moment. Anyway, yeah, sorry but I couldn't do the whole thing, but uh, yeah, I, whatever I tried just didn't work. So uh, uh, in the end, I used the console commands uh, to actually get the quest completed. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time when we go after Mercer Freight and kick the living snots out of him. That gives you something to look forward to. See you next time. Later. Was there something you wanted? No. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.